السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم continue solving partial differential equations so last time we consider parabolic equation with just a summary of just reminding you parabolic equations how did you write it we write it here this one explicit method this is unknown depends on previous known here three unknown which means we cannot solve it unless we found other equations and this one three unknown and three known so again we have to solve it two way but here why okay this is implicit and this implicit more difficult than explicit so why do you use this implicit the reason is that this one here explicit converge only if r less than a half in that case but that one r unconditionally stable i mean you can use any value of r so now we have to repeat the idea, but for another type of equation, which called hyperbolic equations. Hyperbolic equation can be written in this way. Just as before, right hand side is second derivative with respect to x, but left hand side becomes second derivative with respect to t. So it means we need another condition, so we'll have four conditions, uh, not the three like before. And why it is called hyperbolic? Just if you substitute the values here, so it's not difficult now to substitute the value of a, which is minus one, b zero, c is one. You will find the answer of this value is positive, which means called hyperbolic. So this is really hyperbolic equations. And now here, because we have zero as before here, initial condition. And boundary condition as before the only difference is this is a new condition initial condition but with respect derivative with respect to t why derivative we will use it later on and see it's important so this function here one function of x and this is function of x so now here like before we have to find explicit method so what is explicit method just we put here the finite difference here formula finite difference formula but one of them with respect to t and the other one with respect to x. So it means this equation now, we should have this equations. The only difference, as I said here, so be careful this one here, delta square t, not delta t square, like here, here is correct. All right, so put k square divided by h square is r. It used to be k over h square r, but now k square over this one here. And then we will go to next slide to see how to solve. So this is really the idea of this, just we have to repeat just more work, that's all. So I buy, if you just substitute the value of this one here, that's central difference, central to the same, but this was respect to t, so we obtain, this is the equations. And this is called hyperbolic equation, but explicit. Why explicit method? Because this is j plus 1 on the left-hand side. The right-hand side is, it is j here, j minus 1, and j. So it is all of them less than j. So here, sorry, here. Just let's go that. So here now, this one will continue to find some values depends on this unknown and something unknown. So we'll go to next slide to see what is going on here. So when we write it this way, we can see here again, this is j, and this is j minus one, this is j, j plus one, which mean we are j plus one here. So this is j, and this is j minus one. So it looks like this. So, and for this reason, we look at it, this is unknown, that's here unknown, so this is known, 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 all the previous one, but now, before we did not use this one, so now we are using very old one, so like here, it's the same again. And there's no problem if you continue up there, but the problem when you are here at the beginning, when j equals zero here, if you are here at the beginning, J minus 1, it means below here, but we don't know it. So how can we know this? And we cannot use the formula. So here we use the second condition, which is provided. So when you put like J equals 0, that equation up there becomes like this. 
and contains here g minus 1 ui minus 1 that is below the initial how can we find it this one okay we use the condition this one the new condition just use that one here what is the with respect to t we use backward difference formula why backward because it will contain we must zero minus one and that we are looking for we don't know minus one we would like to find so when you put this minus one well the right hand side if of x is known so here it is rearrange it this is minus one a equal this nine here i zero known so just substitute here it is so now we know this one now we can use the formula easily only at the starting point so let's continue here for that example just here now this is j equals zero now this minus one we replace it by this we know it now all of this here so it's equal to this now everything is known now we don't have here uh, minus one so we can use it easily at that level level one so just to illustrate this just apply the method to solve this problem and just try to find u12 this one or u22 so here is the equation as before but now u x0 equal this function of x and derivative with respect to t always 0 and here okay initial boundary conditions both of them are 0 we would like to find here give me h 0.2 or it means 1 so we can calculate k and find it so we know now xi equal ih di equal jk so if you substitute in the function value well here it is of course here when you write xi left hand side should be also this one here should be xi yeah so it's written here ih so now we know the answers so u0 zero, 0 substitute x equals 0 we got the answer is 0 and then substitute the other I will, as we will see next page so here just we wrote it uh, as before i0 equal this how can you find all the values just substitute the values here 1 mean h equal 0.2 calculate it to calculate it like this and so on so when we calculate now we know the value just we have to go to the equation u21 this is the required the questions it's written like this u30 which is known because level 0 u10 is known u20 known and here is the function known substitute all of this here it means we know this just here substitute we get the answer if we want to find like 3, 0 as well, well, just substitute. I mean, this is very easy things. So the question here is U3, 1. What is U3, 1? Substitute in the method. We find this one now, which is known, all of them. Substitute here, we get the answers. So U2, 1 is, uh, this should be U2, 1, I think. It's equal this number. So in that case, we have solved the problem at uh, required questions. Well, maybe we leave this as exercise for you, but we will do part of it. So redo the brief example. So we'd like to find u22 and u31. So here, if you put mean i equal to 3, so what is it here? If we put j equal 0 like before, we got here this one, which we already calculated. It was ui minus 1, but he substitute the value which we found before substitute these values here because f of x is given zero so this one is zero so we found the answer ui1 easily from here u31 again same things substitute when you substitute we got this one and now how to find ui0 this is the function ih1 minus ih again as before here just substitute it means two times h Calculate it and here for this calculation u30 and so on. So, but u31 now, when you calculate it here, now it is known. Up there, it was not known here, like this one we have, did not know these before. Now we know these values. Okay, so how to go to next slide now?
the question is what is u2 2 so it means we have to substitute g equal 1 then here we will get at then q2 and i equal 2 we get this answer when you write this one here okay u2 0 is uh, known but u3 1 is unknown u1 1 is unknown so I cannot find this one. How can you find this one? This is from level 1. This is level 2 here. Here level 1, level 2, here level 1. That means we have to find level 1 first. How to do it? Okay, just this is 1 and this is 1. It means I1, if you substitute, you will find this value. Substitute all these values here. We get this one here. I equal 1. So U1, 1 equal this. Then substitute here I0. It's not difficult to find. So here U11 equal this. We found the answer. And here U22 equal U31 and U11. And then substitute those values. We get the answer here. I of this correct is 0. In that case, we found U22 as required. So here. Uh, another question, this one here maybe find the answer 0.8, this one 0.4, where h equal 0.1. 0.1 it means yes, this is 8, and this is 0.4, if k equal 2, it means 2. So it means here it is u8, 2. So it's required to find u8, 2. All these here, only at the beginning here, are known, the boundary knowns. And of course, here another boundary is known. Should be written like this. So, how to do this one here? Just like before, we will continue in this way, like this. So, here we put the hyperbolic equation as before and substitute, no need to rewrite it again. So, here we are. And well, this is implicit method, we will continue later on.